This right there is a giant knot. How do you prevent that from happening after you get your rocket back? That's what I'm gonna cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I was out flying this rocket on a field, and this is a big parachute. It's like a 36-inch parachute, competition style, so it's really lightweight. It's got really fine lines. And the rocket was, it was beautiful, beautiful flight. The rocket, and the parachute opened well, and it was drifting far, and I was chasing after it. And then I noticed that out in front of me, there was another person chasing my rocket. And they thought that they were gonna be a good steward and get my rocket for me so that I didn't have to go out so far. And I really appreciate that. But as soon as I saw them out there, I knew that this was going to happen, this giant mess, because most people don't know how to pick up a parachute. So that's how you prevent it, is how you pick up the parachute. So um, the only way to fix this mess is you got to cut all the strings off, cut it all off, and then just reapply the strings. So um, yeah, I got a lot of work ahead on that rocket. But on this one right here, I've got a nice one where all the strings are nice and straight and I don't have a knot right here. Um, so typically, you know, when the, when the rocket lands, it's just gonna, it's gonna lay on the ground, something like that. So the first thing you do when you get to the rocket is smash the parachute down onto the ground with your foot. Make sure that it's not going to blow away, but don't put your foot on the lines, just on the canopy. It's not going to hurt the canopy to put your foot on it. So stomp it down and then look on the ground for the other end of the parachute strings. And as soon as you find them, you know, just start pulling them a little bit tight and then grab the apex of the parachute like this. So now you're just stretching everything out. Um, you wanna get all the lines coming nice and straight together like that. So that's the goal is to you know, just kind of take your hand and just slide it down the strings so you can collapse everything like that. Now at this point, um, you can kind of let go of that but make sure that it's not gonna you know, wind itself up into the, sh into the shock cord um, and then now you can take your parachute and you know um, squeeze all the air out of it. I usually do a zigzag fold like that. You know, there's one fold, and then bring this side under. Again, squish all the air out, and then again, important, stretch them all out. And then we're going to take the parachute and we're going to roll the parachute. We're not going to just wind like that because every time you go around you're putting a twist in the lines, but if you just roll the parachute up like that, the lines stay straight. And I'm just going all the way to the end. And now I have a nice bundle and I know that when I unwind it, everything's gonna come out nice and straight and I can refly my parachute without a lot of work. So you got to train all the people on the launch field to do this technique. You know, I really didn't want to yell at the person that was retrieving my rocket because that would not have been a good experience for them. You know, for me to say shouting, hey, don't touch the rocket, you know, because you know, as soon as they touch it, my parachute's going to be all messed up. So I didn't yell at the person, uh, but I need to train people on how to pick up a parachute so you don't get a giant wad. So that's my tip for today. Um, again, tell this to your friends so that when they pick up your parachute, it's not a big spider's web. <laughs> so may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, 
May all your rockets fly straight and true, and hopefully you'll get your rocket back without, the, without a giant web on your parachute lines. So thanks for watching. I'm Tim Van Milligan, and we'll see you in the next video.